Welcome back to All Shops, Great and Small. On today's episode, we're going to talk about threads. Not what kids know of as extensions on an email. These are threads. And before we get into uh, the difference between metric and English, uh, is not just size and thread pitch, but the way the threads are measured. Uh, in America, we use threads per inch. Uh, the metric measurement is point to point. I don't want to get into uh, politics, but 40 years ago, the talk of going metric, I worked in machine shops then, and uh, the idea of going metric I didn't like because I knew how to use a micrometer, which is thousandths of an inch. Um, so it just goes to show that I started being wrong at a young age. A typical Japanese uh, size would be 6 millimeter by 1.25. That's 1.25 millimeter from peak to peak. Uh, a, a typical American size, uh, uh, half 13, uh, 13 threads to the inch. And you can just imagine that it makes more sense to, to measure point to point because uh, an odd number of uh, threads in an inch or uh, it just makes more sense. Uh, but here we are, we have uh, still have English and we still have metric here. And Honda has always been metric. Caterpillar uh, has stuff that's metric and some that's English, but I believe they're going all metric. I don't know that though. We're not going to get into machining threads. Uh, we're, we're just going to talk about repairing threads that are damaged um, and retri stud retrieval uh, when you have broken bolts. Um, if it can be made by a human being, it can be screwed up by a human being, so to speak. What you're looking at here is a drawer full of lifesavers. When you break a bolt off, um, you start off by using a left-handed drill bit if it's a right-handed uh, broken bolt. Uh, that way you give it a chance to all that shaking and uh, friction can occasionally will allow it to back out. If not, you drill the hole with a left-handed drill bit and then you put a uh, extractor in it. Uh, the, the hole is drilled for this extractor size and you try to get it out that way. And if you can do that, um, you know, then everything's fine. A little heat on what you're doing doesn't hurt either. These were commonly called easy outs, which is basically what these are, although these have a shoulder, which if you use it with the proper drill is a much better way to do it. Now the next step is to establish what size it is. Uh, and if you, uh, with the broken boulder or whatever, you have some threads to work with, you find out what size it is. And then uh, once you've removed it, you want to clean the, the threads up. And you can use a regular die, uh, a, a tap rather, um, or you can use a, an item like this, which is a thread cleaner. Uh, it's not really designed for threading. It's designed for cleaning up existing threads. Now let's say that... Uh, you didn't get the broken stud out, but you've drilled it and you're to the point where you want to uh, re-thread it with a, with a tap. And now let's say you break the tap off. A tap is hard. It's, it's harder than a uh, drill bit. So you can't drill it out. Once you break a tap off, your only chance is right here. This is a tap remover a tap removing tool that fits in the flutes and it, uh, it, it allows you to possibly back the broken tap out. Uh, hopefully you can back it out. As a last resort, uh, you use an EDM machine which is electro, it, it eats away at it electronically so it, it doesn't use any bits or anything. Uh, but that's a last resort. These are thread files, which, uh, this is a metric one, 2.5, 2.5 millimeter, point to point. Um, English one, 12 threads to the inch. 
So the two different ways you use these when you have an ex a bolt that's been damaged and uh, you can put it in the vise and use a file to clean the threads up because it's the proper pitch. This is a stud remover which you use when you have a broken stud in a cylinder or something sticking up. You you put this on there and that puts real uh, it bites in when you turn it and uh, you can usually turn a stud out after using a little heat. This is an item I didn't even know about until a few years ago it's called a split die and you can put it down over a uh, cylinder stud or a, a, with the threads damaged on the top of it because it's hard to start a die on the top and get it so that it's proper with indexing with the thread below but this you just pull it apart and you stick it down over there and put a socket on it and just wind it off and uh, clean the threads right up well, we ran a little short on time for this week, uh, but next week I can assure you probably the coolest shop in North Central Pennsylvania. And I just want to remind you also to like us on YouTube. Check out all shops, great and small. I appreciate it when you do that. We're just trying to make something out of nothing. All shops, great and small.